Hey, what's up, everybody? We got a Remnant 2 overview trailer from IGN just launched just a couple of minutes ago. And you know I'm going to cover it for you. Go and watch it right now. If you haven't, you can look up IGN's channel to find it. But I want to scrub this bad boy for some stuff I saw in it. So you might have some spoilers in here, um, just so you know. But overall, this trailer is covering all the good stuff that Remnant has in it and what it's doing, showing off a couple of uh, really cool looking boss fights, right? So let's just go backwards real quick, y'all. We're going to go backwards real quick. And you can see some of these, like, look at some of these enemy designs and stuff are just amazing. Uh, clearly, this is probably some sort of dungeon boss named Legion. Uh, I'm going to guess it's like a multitude of people, given, like, you know, the name and then the amount of people that were on screen right there. This custodian's eye feels a lot like the eyeball in that 30 minute. Uh, trailer we watched from Narude. Um this little that that spectral thing looks insane. You would recognize those two people if you played the first game. This corrupted Ravenger just looks ridiculous. I like how you can see how there's like two people playing and then you get the dog doggo's health right there. Uh this guy as well, this throne of fire. The design on this is oh my god. Can we just all just can we just all agree that this looks incredible? The red prince like, yes, this must be a world boss. I bet this feels at least it feels big. Um, I'm going to I'm just going to let this keep playing. Uh, and then I'll pause it on some of the stuff I wanted to to cover. I love the animations on the world stone now. It's very clean and just a world design. I mean, I, I believe if I remember right from one of their videos, what's really cool is they had in mid development switched from Unreal 4 to Unreal 5. And I'm curious if that really helped out on some of these um skyboxes and world designs because in lighting it's just incredible it's just really 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 good uh, even enemy density feels nice um and will be difficult y'all i mean like the enemy density in this feels like it actually will be pretty pretty difficult a lot like the subject 2923 density that if you've been watching me play it i've been dying a lot in because it's actually significantly harder i love this little bit right here he's gonna pop that off right and then he's gonna hit him in the face which looks like it stuns him and then reveals uh, an epic weakness point that he just kind of goes after and just shoots this little pus ball it's very gross which is you know awesome uh, these are probably enemy types which look really cool and again the world design is showing off you know the loot boxes that you're going to have to go and find open obviously that's going to give you the uh stuff from before it looks like it even grabs you fragment upgrades which is really cool uh there are um obviously your consumables back in the game like we had in the first one uh that will clear out root rot etc get rid of those status effects that are on you um this is a puzzle could probably cheat and watch this and figure out how to complete it. I don't think so. They probably only showed you the first part, but I love that these puzzles are back in it, which shows off the crossbow. Don't know if that's actually tied to that dungeon, but, uh, you know, who doesn't like using the crossbow? I love the crossbow. Iron times five. My video is kind of in the way of that. You can see here all the resources that you can grab quickly. Your status effect bonuses, uh, uh, status effect probably resistances are right there on the left. This look at, the, I mean, just look at this. Look at the amount of stuff going on right here. This is so cool. Oh my gosh. And then they're showing off now some of the weapons you can get. And then obviously to gear up, right? And I love how you can see what's going on here in terms of the uh, bonuses on both the left and right side as he fills this up between your strong back triage, fortified vigor, endurance, spirit, expertise, scholar, and siphoner. Um, and then as you know, you can combine the two of these and it's going to combine them for you and throw up a picture that shows like, oh yeah, he's using those two i don't know why i made that sound this train thing looks amazing this bow reminds me so much of like trinity ghoul and destiny <laughs> i don't know why but uh awesome that there's bows a royal hunting bow let's let's hide my uh webcam here let's move it for a second y'all uh let me see i'm gonna put it up here uh, Song of Ether fires a shot infused with binding power of the Song of Ether. Deals massive damage impact to all enemies in 10 meters and deals an additional damage to flying enemies. The song continues for 15 seconds, afflicting targets with within 15 meters with slow and a 15% decrease to damage dealt. That's awesome. I don't know what this mod power requirement is, 1,000. That's, that's really interesting. Um, 
but this bow looks dope. And then there's this plasma cutter, a long gun. It's got heat seek on it, which force forces open plasma cutters heat vents dispersing all heat while active the plasma cutter generates 50 percent less heat and ramping damage cap is increased to three times damage overheats automatically when deactivated it lasts 20 seconds uh yes can we say yes please i think this is probably a boss weapon given how heat sink is tied directly to the actual name so this is probably one of the boss weapons what does it say on it? It says if a tool can be used to construct a machine, then it can also be used to destroy one. The plasma cutter is one of the few weapons to receive the approval of all Drazir, especially after the Custodian's Rebellion, where destroying Drazir machines became essential. With only two notable exceptions, the Custodian has always served Drazir willingly, even helping us design the means of its own destruction. It was never naive in this, but a willing partner. I have had many years to consider the parallels between our dismantling of the custodian and what our creator has done to the Trezir. Hmm. That's interesting, y'all. That's just cool. That's a cool looking weapon. Look at it. Look at it. Oh my God. I love the beam rifle in the first one too. And I love this right here. This is a melee weapon, y'all. And watch what happens when he slams it down. Do you see that like deer come out? Let's watch that again that is cool and obviously he's using like some sort of like katana right here that looks like a the shotgun that he was reloading at the uh, start there this little giant man looks incredibly scary showing off two rings i think that we might have even had in the previous game uh, we got blood jewel charged melee attacks will apply bleeding dealing 368 bleed damage over 20 seconds and this is the feedback loop ring a perfect dodge triggers a three meter aoe blast that will deal 92 shock damage and applies overload awesome like awesome this is a cool looking little pistol he's rolling right now you can see that there is uh, obviously the upgrading. I'm just going to move my video all around here, y'all. This is Don Riggs Wriggler. He's a gear upgrade homie. You can see all three of your uh, pieces in there. He's using the steel flail, plus 11, so it's just a regular weapon. This is the Ava McCabe, who's going to be a gear and mod crafting. Like She's got a volcanic run door. It must be a mod you probably got from beating a boss. Launches a slow-moving orb that pulses every half second, striking enemies within three meters for 20 shock damage and applying overload for 15 seconds. The orb lasts for 20 seconds. The orb can be overcharged by striking it with additional damage. And you can see that it has uh, the required materials to craft this. So it looks like you actually will have a sort of element of farming materials to craft the mods that you are getting. There's that Legion fight again. Yeah, obviously Legion. This Legion fight is like a multitude of people. This That's the hunter. I just marked all of that for that bonus damage. You've got the handler pet and his doggo. This giant wielding lava man. Um, just showing off the archetypes again, which we know. Uh, this is the perks from the archetype, that diehard perk when receiving fatal damage, the challenger becomes invulnerable, as you know, and can come back and keep the fight going. The challenger just looks so cool. The hunter with the mark ability, and the gunslinger with that quick draw. And then, dude, they just, like, burn through guys right here to show you, like, some gear pieces. And, like, look at that. Look at, look at what's, like, oh, my gosh. Like, look at some of this stuff. It is so clean. There's clearly some sort of summoner thing going on here. Like, look at this. Look at the top right-hand corner. That's obviously a summon ability. Do they probably maybe both are summons? I don't know. I guess like a dog. I'm not, is that the handler on the left-hand side? I honestly don't even know. I cannot wait to play this. Like, I wonder if she is some sort of summoner. And you've got, like, <laughs> that gear chat. That I don't know why I keep saying chat, but that gear, y'all. Oh, my God. They, they go, like, so much faster right there, too. I'm just going to, like, scrub it slowly. That oh my, that previous one, oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. The gear sets look so good. These little rolly ball dudes, creepy. And that's it. That's really all I wanted to cover. I love the little swinging thing. And, and then, the obviously, the world design, again, is just ridiculous. Uh, I think this game is going to this is this is going to be such a good game, everybody. Like, clearly, this is going to be the game. We are going to start it on Sur, uh, Survivor uh, Apocalypse Unlocks, I think, after you beat the game. 
And then you have the the third highest difficulty, which they say you shouldn't play until you actually have gear. And then they're showing off again some more world design and aesthetics, which I think are just absolutely incredible. That boss fight looks ridiculous, whatever that was. Thank you so much. Like and subscribe. Keep following me. I will continue to keep you updated. Go uh, look up IGN if you want to see this video. It's titled Remnant 2 Official Overview Trailer. I'm Hitman BK. Like, subscribe, comment. Until next time.